Welcome to another personal training tutorial for you from aotraining.net. Greetings, this is Trev from AO Training. We're going to have a look at creating a flowchart in Microsoft Word. Is it easy to do? Well, it can be done and it's not that difficult. And if you follow the steps that I'm showing you here, we're going to be able to create a very professional looking flowchart in Microsoft Word. Now, I have from continually had uh, people come to me with problems in using, trying to use Microsoft Word for flowcharts. It isn't a charting program, it isn't a drawing program. However, you can use it if you follow the steps that I'm going to show you. And we're basically going to take you through what's necessary. There's seven basic steps. So set up a page, set the background, add the header, add format, and add the shapes and then format them, add the text to the shapes, group them together, and then add the lines and format them. Also, what we're going to show you very briefly is what each shape means. You may not be aware of it, but when you create a flow chart, chart, different shapes mean different things. This is the alternative process. This is a process, a decision, an inspection, a document. And this is a little different to normal document shapes, but that's the one that Microsoft uses in Word. This is a database, input and output, and start and end. They're just the basic ones that I've put together here. You can follow those and the seven easy steps we have here. And you'll be able to put together this flowchart that we have, which is a flowchart about making a flowchart. So it's going to tell us to review the types of shapes, have a look at the type of shapes we want to do, set up our page, see whether it's going to be landscape, the size of the page. Then we're going to have a look at creating a mud map for it, which shapes would be used, which colours would be used, and then we're going to develop our flowchart. So that's going to be the, the basis for the flowchart we're going to make. Well, let's get started. Here's our blank document. What do we want it to be? Well, let's go to, first of all, we'll follow our steps. Page setup. We want it to be landscape. We want to make sure that our paper is set to A4 size. And we go, OK. So now we have our document. We don't need to worry about margins because we're not working in the text layer at all. <clears throat> we're going to be working totally in an object layer, both in the header and footer and above the text layer. So first of all, Let's go to our header and footer layer. So you know how to do that? View, header and footer. We're now in the header and footer layer of our document. Okay, here's our header and footer. So let's now put some nice colouring into the background. Click on the bottom down here on rectangle. Come up into your document and just cover your document with a rectangle. Right click it, format auto shape. We don't want a line, so we're going no line. And in here, we'll do a couple of nice soft colours, a light green, perhaps. Uh, well, actually, what we'll do is we'll put two colours in. Fill effects, two colours, a soft green, and we'll do a darker green at the top. So this one, there we'll do it. And we'll choose the middle one here. So now we're putting, what we're doing is putting a nice background to our flowchart. This is going to be sitting in the header and footer layer, so we won't, uh, it won't be in our way when we're working. So now let's go up here and close the header and footer. Now we're back. Whoa, we did forget to do something, didn't we? <clears throat> we'll just go back in there to header and footer. And you can do that by using going to view header and footer. Or you can just click the top of your document, which is what we'll do. We'll get on that auto shape again because you know what we forgot to do? We just want to make sure that it's sitting behind the text. We don't want it interfering with our text at all, which it could do. Okay, so here we are. Now let's put our header in. Here's a nice header, we'll sit it up the top here. What are we going to do to this? Let's add some text. Well, this isn't like Microsoft text boxes when you click them, it goes into a text editing phase. No, you have to right click it and go add text. Now you see we see the cross hatches, we're in the text mode. So let's go A O trainer, or training, um, flowchart, tutorial. Okay, spelled that wrong, haven't I? Yeah, so here we go. Let's make it a bit bigger. So we're going to go to, say, 26. We'll center it by going up here to center. Now let's do something with this box. It looks pretty ordinary. Let's right click it and go for more auto shape, colors and lines. And uh, we want to put some fill in here. We'll make it a nice yellow. 
and we'll do the border. We're working in dark green, so dark green, and we'll make it here a bit thicker. Let's make it two points. Okay, so there we've got a nice header to our flowchart. Now what we're going to do, if you remember from the processes we looked at, here's our seven easy steps. We've set the page, we've set the background, we've added the header. Now what we want to do is go in and start adding the shapes. So you ready to do that? Here we go. So go into auto shape down the bottom here, basic auto shapes, and we'll start with our starter, which is circle. All right, what I'm going to do now is just pause the video. I'll set these shapes up and then we'll come back to it. Right, here we are again. We've got the shapes in. I've done nothing to them and put them in there. I just want to show you something. When you click on auto shape, you can then go to your keypad and just tab it across a little bit if you want. And sometimes you might want to just move it a fraction. Well, if you want to just move it a fraction less than this amount of movement, see that amount of movement there, if you want it to be less than that, hold your Alt key down, left click on your shape, and you can move it just the smallest amount of gradient. Let your clicker up, then let your Alt key go. And that'll help you move your shape around. So here we have the shapes that are set up. Let's, let's go through and highlight these shapes. We just click them and hold the shift key down as we click them. So here they all are. What we're going to do is do some quick formatting to these shapes. So they're all selected. Right click and go format auto shape. And we'll add some color to them. What color do we want these auto shapes? Let's make them all the yellow in the middle, for instance. Um, that'll do us. And we want a border. We'll stick with our green border. And we'll make the border at two points again. Make it look nice and thick. You can do this however you want. So what we've managed to do here is to uh, be able to set our auto shape or something else we could do here. Uh, that's probably enough for now. So now all our auto shapes are formatted. What we might do is we might just do this one as the starting shape and this one as the finishing shape. We just might do them as separate, um, separate colors. We'll do them as a softer red, okay. Now, this, these are our outside processes, so we'll just highlight them and we'll just change them to, what can we do? Well, let's get into a very soft green. Okay, so you're starting to get the idea. Now we've got our starting process here, we've got our ending process, we've got our main journey through here, the decision we're going to make here, and, and then we're going to add, um, well, this is the outside points. Now again, I'll pause the video. What you do to add text to each of these shapes is just right click and go in here and put add text. And of course, you need to do that to each and every shape. So I'll do that and I'll add our text. So we're up and running again with our video. Now I've just put the text in here as raw text. You can have a look and just see that. Let's format our text. So again, all we do is go through, we've got start, process, decision, finish, sub-process, 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 sub-process. Now that should be enough. So let's go through here first of all and highlight all our shapes again. Here we have them, and we'll just uh, fix up our text a little bit at this particular stage. We might want a 12 points, um, and uh, we might want a bold. That should probably be enough for us, and we'll center the text. Okay, so we're going to have to center our text individually. Center it all. Need to make this just a little fraction bigger. And so you can format the text to whatever color that you that you want to do it uh, in whatever uh, situation that you see is applicable. Okay, so here we have them all set up just in the center. So you're getting the idea. Now here's a crucial thing, if you don't do this, you will not be able to proceed. And this is where everybody goes wrong with a flowchart in Word. What's going to happen now, when you start adding lines or anything else to this document, it's going to start pushing the shapes to one side or the other, and we don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is go in, click our shapes again, so we've got them all listed here. And then we're going to get our cursor to go over the shape. See how we get that triangle coming up there? Right click, not a triangle, the four points, I should say. And then we're going to go 
to grouping. And we're going to say group these shapes together. Beautiful. Now you'll see they respond differently. The shapes are grouped. They're in a group. And they're not going to move. You try and move them, they're just the whole group moves. You see that? That's what we want. We don't want the shape to move. We want to be able to now do things to this to be able to set it all up. So now if we go down the bottom here to where we've got the arrow mark, see here, click an arrow, and now when we put the arrow in, it's not going to move the shape. So we just run the arrow across to there. And of course what we then want to do, we'll just put another arrow in, run it across from there to there. You're getting the idea? It's very simple now. We've really got this working beautifully. See how easy it is to do this? And then of course when your arrows are in, all you need to do is just again hold your shift key down, click your arrows, and then format your shape, your arrows. We just all we're going to do with this is just make the points, two points, nice thicker arrow, and there you go. So you can see how once you do that, once they're grouped together, everything's going to move beautifully for you. So here's our process once again that we go through. Seven easy steps. Set up your page, set the background, add the header, add your auto shapes and then format them, add your text to your shapes after that, and then here's the important part, group them, they must be grouped. If you do not group your shapes, you will be in all sorts of a mess. So we hope that's a help to you. As I said earlier on, both of these files will be attached above the video for you to download. You can download this file, which will show you what the shapes mean, the seven easy steps, and also will allow you to download this here test file so you can pull it apart and just see what we've done. This is Trev for AO Training. Thanks for listening.